Doug Eyed from Guide Eyed Fishing inside uh, Lakeside Bait and Tackle. A lot of people keep asking me how we set our tip ups up for walleyes. So I'm, what we did was actually I needed another tip up because I keep doing pike, walleye, pike, walleye and I only own two dozen tip ups. So we bought another one. One thing I do do is I do run metered line. When we fish walleyes, I don't fish walleyes on Delavan, Geneva, Pewaukee, uh, any of the lakes we fish them down in southeast Wisconsin. I do not fish them deeper than 15 or 20 feet. With my metered line being in the five foot intervals, I'm usually never past the black. So with my line down, when I come up to my tip up, and I know a lot of you guys like using the bobber, well, if the bobber went two feet and it's under the ice, I'm still in the black, I don't know. I start seeing it into my white, then I know that fish has got some line out. Helps me a lot. Um, for demonstration purposes, I'm using a probably one of the biggest swivels known to mankind. Uh, we do run the beaver dams for walleyes. The let off is probably the smoothest of any tip up that I know of. Um, on our leaders, I run a 10 pound cigar. I, don't, I will not change that ever. I'm a big fan of the fluorocarbon and uh, just a number six treble. I'm not looking to kill anything. And since I'm getting old, I have to wear glasses to tie this. I'm sure you guys all know how to tie this knot. I'm just going to run it through twice, wrap it around, and be done with it. I'll show you how I tie braid, my tip-up braid, or even my braid in my bolt. This is how I tie it. I don't usually cut the cut the knot out of it for months, so it's probably a little bit of overkill. I know it's going to be a little bit hard to see through this camera. I run it through once. I run it through twice. So my lined ends are. I split it in my fingers. For me, I run some through it just because it's easier. I wrapped it around my fingers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can wrap it around as many times as you want. The only reason I went so many was because I wanted to show you what the knot looks like. I pulled my fingers out, I got my two holes. I run my braid through it and I run it through the other hole I made. I'm going to lick it. I'm going to pull my tag end. I'm going to pull it tight. That's a knot. There's no way that's coming out on me. Clip it. I put a rubber band on it to store it. I put a little tension on it and I put the flag through it. The reason I do that is, and I do actually put mine in beaver dam bags. And uh, after I explain this, I'll have Brad pause and I'll go get the bag and show you how I do that. The reason I do this is if you throw it in a bucket, you throw it in the bag, whatever you do, they don't get tangled. Um, I'm one of them guys, if I pull my bucket and I got my tip ups tangled, it just makes me crazy. Um, and I do understand, you know, at night when you want to get off the lake and everything. But it works for us. And then I'll show you how I store them in the bags. Now we're getting into storing it. First thing I do is my tip-up markers for my walleye tip-ups are different from my markers for my other tip-ups. In all of southeast Wisconsin, we're 3818. So if you take your tape, mark your marker, I know that's 18 inches. I never knew because I don't own any red ones. I own the camo and the clear. This tip up actually has a uh, a ruler on it. Second thing I do is the light that I'm going to put in there with it. I make sure it works. So 
So I do have a spare light with me. If you open any of my compartments, tip up marker, light, tip up. Tip up marker, light, tip up. And then the more you do it and the more you get in the habit of putting them away, it's so much easier your next trip out. Um, if I do break something on one, I do throw it in my bucket. Then that's a reminder for me when I get home to fix it. Uh, the reason that light was in my pocket and not in the bag was because actually I had to put new batteries in it. So I hope that helps you. And uh, if you like what Brad and I are doing from Lakeside Bait and Tackle and from Guide Eyed Fishing, subscribe to our YouTube page and we'll try to keep putting them out there for you. Anything you want to see, just let us know. Thanks.